All right, so a lot of you are struggling with, with moon phases. Um, so I'm making this video. First off, let me just break this down for you. Technically, the sun is somewhere over that way, and it's shining light on the moon. And these are just showing you different places where the moon could be located. This object right here is the Earth, and the top is the North Pole. So we're looking down on it. So I'm going to draw in lines representing the sun's light just to show that this is the way it's going, which is why the right side on all these images are lit, okay? So, break down the moon phases. Let's say I'm asked to uh, draw the moon phase at number four. So, I'm going to draw my little guy in there, and I'm going to make it so he's looking up at the moon, all right? So, I draw my little line across there along the orbit, and I look. Which side is lit? Is the right side lit or is the left side lit? Clearly the right side is lit. And then I ask myself, is it a quarter lit or less than half lit? Is it uh, half lit or is it more than half lit? In this case, it's more than half lit and the right side. So what I do, I make the left side dark and just a little bit, right? So now my right side is gonna be lit and it's more than half. So I gotta color in this little dark side. We're always gonna be looking at crescents when we have something that's more than half lit or less than half lit. If it's half lit, like at spot three or seven, we just draw a line straight down the middle, all right? So just by knowing that I'm looking at spot three or seven, above or below the Earth, I draw my little uh, line in along the orbit, I draw my guy there, and I look up at the moon and I say, okay, um, how much of the moon is lit or which side of the moon is lit it doesn't matter what you start with so i say the right side is lit and it's half lit so that means the left side needs to be colored in dark because the right side is lit let's make it a little more complicated let's say i wanted to look at moon phase eight here i draw my line along the orbit and i turn it so then i can draw the little guy on there looking up at the moon i keep it that way so i can see which side is lit which side is dark Okay, so the left side is lit, and is it less than half lit, half lit, or more than half lit? It's less than half lit. So the left side is lit, and it's less than half. So I've got to draw my crescent in here. The left side is going to be lit, and it's less than half. So I color in the right side. All right? So, next, let's talk about the amount of days it takes to go from one thing to the next. So let's say that this is uh, January 1st. It takes 29.5 days for the moon to go from here all the way back here. So that means in order for it to get all the way back here, 29.5 plus 1 equals 30.5. So January, and we take off the 0.5, we just erase that. We don't round it, we don't do anything like that. January 30th, it will return back to this point. So if it's January 1st right here, it's gonna be January 30th. Just like how if it's January 1st here, when the moon's right there, it'll be January 30th when it gets back to there. It just takes one complete cycle to go uh, 29.5 days, all right? Let's break that down even further. If this is January 1st here, and they ask you, where will the moon be in seven days? Seven days means it goes from here and 90 degrees through its cycle, or a quarter of the way through its cycle. So every, about seven days from one, uh, one phase to two phases ahead, right? So this is one phase, uh, next phase, and that's going to be a jump of two. All right, so hopefully that brings it together a little bit. Um, final question is going to be on January 15th. Where will the moon be if the moon is here on January 1st? So that's going to be about 14 days later, and that's going to be a half of the way around its cycle. Because seven days is going to be a quarter of the way around its cycle. 14 days or 15 days, doesn't really matter, either one, is going to be halfway around. Another 14 or 15 days is going to be back to where it started, hence the 29.5 days. Okay?